Your Excellency, Benjamin Netanyahu, Mrs. Sarah Netanyahu, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, Mrs. Lucy Turnbull, Premier Gladys Berejiklian, the Honourable Mark Dreyfus, representing the Leader of the Opposition, distinguished guests, all, Bruchim Habaim, welcome. <clears throat> Baruch Haba, Rosh Hamem Shalah. Welcome, Prime Minister, to this very special occasion. Indeed, Australian Jews have been looking forward to it for seven decades. <laughs> Yet, the deep and enduring ties that bind our nations go back more than 70 years. Those ties have laid the foundations for a very promising future. As both Prime Ministers here have declared, for Australia, Israel is the start-up nation that inspires. For Israel, Australia is the innovation nation ready to collaborate. That is the exciting future of hope built on our shared past. Ladies and gentlemen, we are linked to our shared past by our personal and family stories. Outside of Israel, Australia has welcomed the largest community per capita of Holocaust survivors. And our Jewish community has one of the highest per, cap per capita rates of Zionist youth movements that engage with Israel and of Australians who make Aliyah. We are linked by our national histories. As you, Prime Minister Netanyahu, foreshadowed early this morning, stretching back for 100 years to an event we will commemorate on October 31st at the centenary of the Australian Light Horse Charge at Beersheba. And we are especially pleased, actually not pleased, but absolutely delighted that Prime Minister Turnbull that you, Prime Minister, will lead the Australian delegation to Israel. <laughs> we are linked by Australia's role as a friend of Israel and the Jewish people. To the great credit of many Australian leaders, this friendship has transcended partisan politics. 70 years ago, Australia was the first country to vote for a Jewish state at the United Nations. <laughs> 55 years ago, Australia was the first country to raise the plight of Soviet Jewry at the United Nations. And some 30 years ago, Australia led the successful campaign to rescind the infamous resolution, UN resolution, equating Zionism with racism. And I must say that as president of the Zionist Federation at the time, I worked closely with Israel's ambassador to the UN, a certain Benjamin Netanyahu, who came to visit us down under at the time. He was, and he is, a passionate, and eloquent advocate for Israel, a great leader of the Jewish people. It is an honour to have you on Australian soil again, Your Excellency, this time as the Prime Minister of the State of Israel. Thank you. <laughs> 